Hey everybody, welcome back to Ozzy's Oddities. Today we're going to try to start this six horsepower Fuller and Johnson engine. But before I start it, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about that engine, how it came about. Back in the 80s, when I was farming full time, I needed another gravity box. I was selling corn and one came up for sale in the paper and my wife says maybe we should go take a look at it so we went out to this farmer and, and he took me to his pole shed parked in the yard the wife was sitting in the van and I looked at the gravity box and it just wasn't what I was looking for it was a little bit too small and, and an older one so I went back to the van we we're gonna pull out and the wife says you know something she says I think back in the weeds there's an engine sitting there. Well, she knew that I liked engines, so I says, well, let's take a look. So I looked over the weeds and sure enough, there it was. There was this great big old hunk of rust sitting on this rotted out frame of a saw rig. And it was a homemade saw rig where the wheels were made from a, like a haymower wheel. Anyway, I asked the farmer, I says, what's, what's gonna happen to that old engine down there he says well in a couple days maybe tomorrow the next day the iron buyers coming and it's going for scrap iron and boy I almost dropped my drawers you're gonna scrap out a big old engine like that I says let's take a look at it so I looked it over and sure enough there were some parts missing the gas tank was rusted out uh, magneto was gone uh, no the magneto was there the igniter was gone leaving a, a gaping hole up in the in the head and that was full of bees so you didn't want to get too close to it everything was rusted and stuck tight the cylinder was really stuck tight because water had gotten in there of course through that uh, igniter hole and I thought boy it shouldn't go for scrap so so I offered him more money he'd ever get for scrap for it and I came and loaded it up and we took it home and it sat in my yard for quite a while I tried to locate an igniter with no luck finally the farmer actually found the igniter for me later on I went out and got it and then I got all gung-ho to fix it up so we started working on it cleaning it up and finally got the cylinder loose it wasn't stuck too bad and we got it going the cylinder loose piston out wrist pin was bad we made a new wrist pin out of stainless steel and got new rings for it honed the cylinder and some of my engine buddies Chris Romnus was one of them he helped me uh, get it fixed up I put it on a cart made the cart out of uh, wood that was taken off our farm oh, well I actually it was my father-in-law's farm where my wife grew up and we took it on and put it on the trailer with the other engines I had and got them all running nice. I painted it up, pinstriped it, and took it around to shows and then it sat in the shed for years and years and years. Well, I cleaned it up a little bit and I think today we should try to get it running.
Well, there you have it, everybody. I guess we got it running. Type N C 1914 Fuller and Johnson kerosene burning hit and miss engine. Made in Madison, Wisconsin. Shipped to Rolling Stone, Minnesota in 1914. Same year it was built. Well, we got it running and it needs a little adjustment yet i did i started it on a battery I, I thought the mag was a little weak but when it got running good i pulled the battery off and it ran on its own on the mag so it must be okay so i'll run it some more and i think it'll probably loosen up more and, and run a little better yet um but that one we got it running that's the fuller and johnson we got we got a couple more to go so we're going to keep working at them you keep watching Ozzy's Oddities, and we'll be back. Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you again.